Bonjour mon petit, it is Ali Fabulous, she's back with a new video and if the sound quality is kind of janky it's because I am not using my microphone today, I'm recording straight off the camera because I gotta go, but I gotta get this intro recorded and outro too, so uh, just bear with me, we're gonna get through this real quick. But in today's video we are going to do a fro, uh, fro like a curly fro kind of, this, I guess we can call this a curly fro, from a two strand flat twist out, it's the first one I've done in like probably like four or five years or something like that. But we're gonna get her done and I'm gonna show you guys how to do what I do. So if you wanna see how I do what I do and how you can do it too, then keep on watching and I will catch you on the other side. Alrighty, so we're gonna start this on freshly washed hair. We're all good. And I wanted to do it on freshly washed hair because I wanted it to shrink really well. So we're only gonna be using two products for this and my hair is thoroughly detangled. As you can see, my little tangle teaser brush type thing is going straight through it. And like I said, we're only using two products for this. I'm using the Lotta Body Coconut and Shea Oils Moisturize and Curl Quench, whatever. They're, um, they're styling cream. And then I'm gonna use the Lotta Body um, Foam Setting Wrap Lotion stuff, whatever you wanna call that. So I'm just going to flat twist my hair all the way around. And this tutorial is OD simple and it's gonna be mostly fast forwarded because um, it's that simple. If you don't know how to two strand flat twist, I do have a video that is OD old, but it has been known to be very helpful. So I will link that above and it'll drop down in that little eye thing or whatever. Uh, make sure you click on that if you do not know how to two strand flat twist because that video has helped a lot of people and it could help you too. I will make an updated version of my two strand flat twist video um, so folks can get their flat twist on, you know what I'm saying? But uh, click on that one. Even though this tutorial is super easy, the important thing about it is the direction that your twists are going in. So you have to set your hair the way that you want it to lay when it's out. So I want my hair to be in my face. So I'm gonna set the front of my hair, I'm gonna twist those going forward, and then the twists on the side of my head going down. That way I have a nice framed shape in the front of my head. And for the back of my head, I'm doing two rows of flat twists instead of just one row from the crown to the nape um, because I want these twists to be small. And it's not because of definition per se, but I want the size of the curls to be pretty tight. If I did bigger curls, if I did longer, I mean bigger twists or longer twists, then they would be looser and more wavy, but I want really tight spirals. Um, because of the actual look that I'm going for, for the actual fro look. Like, I don't want it to be wavy. I don't want it to look loose. You get what I'm saying? So I let these dry overnight with the sleep. They were actually dry um, pretty fast, within a couple of hours, not even, um, not, not too long. And I, I wanna attribute that to the size of them because I don't usually do my twist this small. But anyway, I'm not putting any oil or anything extra on my hands because I have enough product in it from when I styled it that my hair is still completely moisturized. I don't need to add any any water, any oil, any anything like that. Um, because I don't, my hair is gonna be in my face. I don't want any more extra grease in my face. I'm good on that. And because, again, y'all know I don't care about no definition, so this is not about reducing frizz. Like, the, the frizzier, the better, because it's gonna make it look, you know, like I want it to look. So I'm just gonna take these down and I want to make sure that I separate them section by section. That's why I did the flat twist, so I already have the pre-made sections. Um, because that will reduce the amount of separation that I'm going to have to do to get my fro to be the way that I want it to be. And I'm not really paying attention to like keeping the sections like clean or anything like that because again, I want it to be frizzy. So I'm just separating them section by section. And then once I get the whole thing done, I'm gonna take my pick and I am going to lift this joint and fluff it up and make it look exactly how I want it to look. And lifting at the roots 
If you are like me and you're trying to get the volume that you're looking for, lifting at the roots is key. But I'm also gonna rake the pick throughout the curls, whatever you wanna call it, to um, break up that actual curl like definition and get it more frizzy and fluffy and fro-y looking. Like I want it to be a curly fro, but I still want it to be messy, you know what I'm saying? Like. I don't want it to look all extra uniform and perfect and stuff like that. Like, I'm not here for that. So that's not what I'm gonna do. And the reason why I wanted to do it on shrunken hair instead of stretched hair is because I wanted a particular shape. I wanted a specific shape and my hair only does it right when it's like shrunken, you know what I'm saying? So this is why we did it on wet hair, freshly washed hair, because y'all know I usually do my stuff on dry stretched hair because I want it to be um, bigger and longer. But I really just wanted the volume on this one. I wanted a nice shape. And I wanted, you know what I'm saying? I wanted it to be shrunk up because I like this little uh, kind of sort of heart shape thing that I got going on with my hair. Like I cut it while it was straight and it ended up like this. So I'm like, yeah, so this is what we gonna do. So I'm just gonna play in my hair, pick it out, fluff it out, use my fingers and my pick and get it to the exact way that I wanted to get. And that's really the trick to getting your twist out or your fro to the shape that you want it to be. You gotta play in it. And that is the part that actually takes the longest. The twisting and the setting and all that bunch of nonsense, you ain't even gotta worry about that. It's playing in your hair to get it to the right shape that takes the longest time, so. And I really hope you guys notice the difference between the size on the red side that is, you know, that's been fluffed out, that's been picked out, and the size of it on the um, black side where it hasn't been picked out. Like, it's still curly and like frizzy and stuff like that, but it doesn't have that volume. It's not big, it hangs lower, and it doesn't have like a good shape to it or whatever. Um, it's kind of just there, it's kind of just existing. So picking it out and fluffing it up is very, very necessary. And while I am gonna speed the rest of this up, I'm gonna keep pretty much all of it in because I want you guys to see that it takes a lot of time to um, pick out your hair and shape it the way that you want it to be. Like, shaping your hair ain't no joke, fam. Hell, that's part of the reason why we say don't touch our damn hair. You know all this work it takes us to get our joint like this? Touch my damn hair, shit. Okay guys, so that brings us to the end of another tutorial with Treats. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you give me a big old thumbs up and share this video if you're feeling it. If you're feeling my channel, if you peruse through these videos, if you are subscribed, share this video and every other video of mine that you are fucking with. If you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you do that. Hit that subscribe button below. And if you are, make sure your notification bell is on so that you guys can know when I drop another video. I think that's all there is to say. There there is no chat with Therese this week because um, I can't think of one. I usually think of these shits on the spot, so. <laughs> um, there is no chat with Therese this week, but if you have anything to say, questions, comments, concerns, complaints, drop them in the comment section below. I will get back to you. That's all there is to say, and there is no more except as always. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, love you, love you, and I will catch you in the next video. Mwah. Bye, guys. <laughs>